Today, I'm going to show you how to make some phytoplankton. So, what is phytoplankton exactly? Well, according to Google, the definition of phytoplankton is plankton consisting of microscopic plants. It has many uses besides what's just in our hobby. Like for example, uh, some people drink it uh, for nutrition. But today we're just going to talk about it in, you know, the reef aquarium sense. Phytoplankton is used as an additional food source for copepods, amphipods, uh, mycid, rotifers, you know, basically your microfauna. It also is used to tint the water green in a clownfish fry grow out tank whenever you're breeding clownfish. Uh, the, the fry don't necessarily like to be in clear water. They want to be somewhat kind of hidden, submerged or whatever you want to call it. The only con I can really see of adding phytoplankton straight to your tank uh, is it does add quite a bit of nutrients to your tank. You know, your uh, nitrate and uh, your phosphates so you got to kind of be careful in that respect but corals do eat it and feed on it so there is a, a slight benefit to adding it to your tank in small doses though so just remember that so without further ado let's jump right in and get to making some phyto so a few things you're going to need just the basic supplies you're going to need what's called uh, f2 some people will use miracle Grow, and that's pretty horrible because you don't really want to put that type of stuff in your tank. This is a Gullard's F2. Probably the best stuff you can get. Uh, you're going to need an air pump, just your cheap whatever air pump will work. Uh, air stone, which is in the little container there with the air hose. You will need a container. Most people will just actually use a little 2 liter bottle for their culture uh, container, but... I'm using a little tea pitcher I got from Walmart. I think I paid like 10 bucks for it and it's pretty nice. It has a little nozzle there so you can kind of dispense it. And you'll also need a light. Now I'm not going to use this light. I'm actually going to use a T5 light. But just for just demonstration purposes, I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, CFL bulb. And last but not least, obviously, you're going to need some phytoplankton. And once you start culturing phytoplankton... If it's a good batch, I made this on 424 of 2017. So it's been over a year since, uh, or, you know, right at a year since uh, this thing was cultured. I just kept it in my fridge and shook it up you know, a couple times a week or whatever because the stuff would kind of settle at the bottom. So you are going to have to shake it, but the stuff will last forever if you got a good batch and you don't use miracle Grow. Alright, so let's hook up this air pump here. And some people don't recommend using an air stone because it will, you know, effectively skim the water. But I'm not running it, the uh, air, that high. So it's not really going to skim it. There we go. Okay. Oh, and also I forgot to mention, of course, you're going to need salt water. And I do it at 1026 just because I am going to use this in a, uh, in a reef tank. Okay. Typically, when you get your Fido, you may have like an 8 ounce or even 16 ounce container. But uh, I've got this big container, so I'm, I don't know how much I'm going to use. I'm just going to see how dark it gets to uh, determine how much I'm going to use. I'm going to go ahead and shake it up. Well, not shake it, but kind of. There we go. So that's, that's, that's probably 16 ounces, I'm going to say. 
So that's basically what you would typically start out with. And by the way, this is from Todd's Pods. I'll put a link or a little button right there. Go ahead and click that. So you can order some of this stuff. It's called Sin City Brew. And uh, it's some good stuff. I mean, it's lasted a year so far. So some great stuff. Next. Let me read the, the uh, instructions there because I actually forgot. Okay, uh, the dosage amount on this stuff here is 1.5 mil per gallon of fresh water. So, or salt water. Fresh or salt. Do not refrigerate or freeze. Okay, so this is basically three gallons. And I'm going to add one, two, three, four and a half. And I think... A few capfuls should be okay. Alrighty. So we got the F2 in there. Next, we need to put the light on there. Alrighty, got the light on. Everything is all set up. So now... We're just going to wait roughly five to maybe seven days at the most. We'll be able to tell that each day it's starting to get a little and a little and a little darker. So probably by day five, it's going to be ready to harvest. And all you do, basically bottle it up and you can keep it in the fridge and you're done. You can resell it or you can use it. So we'll be back shortly. One thing I forgot to mention is how long you want to keep your light on. I just typically keep mine on the same amount of time that I do my aquariums. So I keep it on for 10 hours a day and that's it. Alrighty guys, it's day two of the Fido culture. And you'll notice that the culture looks a little lighter than yesterday. That's because a lot of the actual phytoplankton has settled to the bottom. We use a air stone to kind of keep this stuff flowing in motion. So what I'm going to do is take just a, uh, a normal little cooking spoon here. And I'm just going to stir this up to uh, get it suspended. Because you don't want this stuff laying on the bottom here because it can suffocate. And that will obviously kill your culture. Alrighty. Let's put the lid back on here. There we go, that's it. I will check back on day three and you should see it start to get a little darker. Here is day three, starting to get just a little darker and all the Fido is staying suspended instead of sinking to the bottom. So that's a good thing. See you on day four. Alrighty guys, we are now on day four. It looks like it's almost done. I'm gonna let it go for one more day so we will check back tomorrow and start to bottle it up. Alrighty guys, today is day five and the phytoplankton is just about as dark as it's gonna get. The phytoplankton food back there in the background, the F2, it doesn't necessarily work forever but it works just long enough for the phytoplankton to reproduce. So now all we need to do is harvest the phytoplankton. And to harvest it, let's just go ahead and pull the plug on the air filter. And let's see here. Let's take a look at it. So, yep, it's nice and green. So, that's a healthy culture there. I'm just going to take my gallon bottle, put it right up here, yeah, zoom in buddy, there we go, that's all we need to do. I'm, I put it in these uh, clean one gallon water, my old water containers. And then from there, I will put it in smaller, uh, probably 16 
or no, no. Yeah, maybe 16 ounce or 8 ounce containers. And I normally sell those for about 5 bucks each. So if you need any phytoplankton, uh, there'll be a link right up here. And just click that link. So I went to a frag swap today. And besides the coral that I picked up, I picked up some copepods here that you can see. These are tiger pods. I uh, picked them up from Pod Your Reef. Normally, you'll see these at your LFS uh, behind the cast register. Uh, they have a little refrigerator there, and they're in a small bottle, and they're normally by Reef Nutrition. Uh, I went ahead and picked these up because there's quite a few in there. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to culture your own copepods. It's really simple, and, you know... Once you start culturing your pods, you'll basically never have to buy pods again. Alrighty guys, I hope you learned something from this video. This pretty much wraps it up here, how to make phytoplankton. It took five days. You can go a little longer if you want to, but you don't want to go too long to where a lot of the phytoplankton starts to settle on the bottom. You really want to culture it at about day five, day six, and uh... Typically, you can bag it up and sell it or bottle it up and sell it for about 5 bucks a bottle, 10 bucks a bottle, or whatever. But I'm going to use this to make copepods and also give out to some of my friends. This is basically what I harvested. I did not have the container filled up all the way to the 3-gallon uh, mark because I didn't really need that much. I honestly don't need this much here, but I'm going to give some away. So, hope you guys learned something. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it, and also please subscribe, and also make sure that you hit the little bell icon so that you will get notified anytime that I upload a video. Thank you guys for watching.